everybody. Welcome to Muse TV. We have a great guest today on Muse TV, CEO of Cowboy Channel, Raquel Gosh. How are you doing today? How's everything in Texas? Really good. Weather is beautiful, so you can't complain at all here right now. I'm loving it. Exactly. And you have some big things coming up very soon. You have the National Finals Rodeo on Cowboy Channel. How did everything come about to get the to get the rodeo? Well, it's actually been um, kind of a work in progress for many, many years. Um, but recently, we became the official partner of the PRCA. We signed an agreement back in September, starting January 1st of this year is when we became their official media partner with all of our media entities. So primarily on the Cowboy Channel, which is the official network of Pro Rodeo. Um, but we also air a lot of rodeos on our sister network, which is RFD TV. And we cover a lot of things also on our radio network on Sirius XM Rural Radio. But it's kind of been something in the works for a really long time. About 20 years ago, my dad founded RFD TV out of an idea to kind of start a television network for rural America. He was a dish network installer, would go around to people, would follow up and ask them, how do you like your satellite dish? Um, is there any improvements you'd like to make? And they kind of just heard it enough that, hey, there's nothing out there really for rural America. We thought with 300 more channels, we'd have something. So that idea started 20 years ago, launched RFD TV. It grew into agriculture, equine, rural lifestyle, music and entertainment. Um, and then over the years, we just kept getting, hey, you know, why don't you do more on rodeo? Why don't you do more on Western sports? So we started tapping into that a little bit um, with some different events around the country. And then when, when the contract for the NFR and the pro rodeo came up for bid, um, most recently, we kind of put our name in the hat. And we're ready for it. And we were lucky enough that we got it. It's been on CBS Sports for the last several years. And now it's moving to the Cowboy Channel. Yeah, because I've been in Vegas. This year's not in Vegas, but it's usually in Vegas every year. And I've been in Vegas when the rodeo has been in town. And it is like a big, big party that whole week. And I want to know, how, how, how have you experienced this? Because this is something that, to me, I, I, even though I'm Latino and rodeos are like second nature, but to yeah. me, I never really experienced it. And it was for the first time when I was in Vegas and I experienced it. I was like, this is like a real major event. And it's going to be in Texas, in Arlington at the new, is it going to be at the new Globe Life Stadium? Yep, it's where the new ballpark for the Texas Rangers are. Um, but no, I mean, it's really flagged the Super Bowl of rodeo. So just Super Bowl of football, you have your World Series for baseball. This is Super Bowl of rodeo. It's to that magnitude. Um, and normally when it is in Vegas, yes, the entire town turns Western. You won't see high heels you see cowboy boots everywhere with the glitz the glamour um and you can't find anybody in there that's not wearing a cowboy hat so it's been a wonderful event in vegas but unfortunately due to covid this year um and restrictions that vegas had uh we were able to move it or excuse me prca was able to move it to texas um and the globe life put a bit into it in the city of arlington and the city of fort worth and everybody got together and was able to move it here but what's fascinating about the nfr is it is not just a single event that happens every single night for that three hour broadcast that moved. There are so many other events associated with this that has become such a part and ingrained of what the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo is. Um, and so now you have all the shopping that's moved into three different locations. You have the ladies luncheon, you have the resistor rookie banquet. So kind of everything that's associated in Vegas, the whole party is kind of moved here to the Fort Worth Stockyards. Oh, and that's really cool. That's really cool. Especially my dad's a big fan of watching RFD. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, cause he likes watching the native American yeah. shows that are on RFD because that's something you don't see yeah. in a regular TV and he loves watching it. And then he saw the commercial for the, for the oh. regular uh, national rodeo. And he was just like, wow, they have high school rodeo yeah. in there do you broadcast the high school as well or is it something that we you don't do. yes we've had a wonderful relationship with national high school rodeo association for many many years been a big supporter of them um they are on rfd tv and we're also airing starting to air more on cowboy channel so um rodeo thriving it's a growing sport right now um and all the states across the united states have their own associations that meet for the national finals rodeo so there's a great group of kids that are coming up. Um, some of the most popular athletes right now that are in the PRCA actually were just world champions in the National High School Rodeo Association. So it's kind of fun to see them, you know, conquer the National High School Rodeo Association. And now they're in the finals for National Wrangler. Finals. Yeah, and, it, and what a great opportunity for Cowboy Channel and RFD TV. I mean, that's, that's going to be exciting. A lot of people, I know you guys are going to get a lot of viewership for this because it is always so much fun to watch. 
we're very passionate about Western sports and the Western lifestyle. And I think that's something that our family really prides ourselves on. And um, these are our people. This is the lifestyle that we love. And so to be able to have a television network focused around a lifestyle that we love and the sport that we love and really embrace rodeo and take it to that another level, we're no longer just doing just the NFR broadcast. So we're actually doing 10 hours a day of live programming on the Cowboy Channel, which is also going to be simulcast on RFD TV this first year, just to really let people kind of see it. You know, the more eyes we can get out there and let them be aware of all the different types of great programming we're putting on, we decided to simulcast it on both networks. Um, but it kind of starts in the afternoon. We have Outside the Barrel with Flint Rasmussen, um, who's the PBR entertainer of the year, and everybody's very well known three-hour tailgate on our own lawn in the heart of the Fort Worth Stockyards, which is kind of our version of game day meets today show. So there'll be music and there'll be fashion and there'll be rodeo athletes and um, past athletes for many years of champions that are going to come on and just kind of embrace everything that's a part of the Western culture. And then we'll do a Western sports roundup and then throw it to a pre-show, the Wrangler National Finals rodeo and a post-show and a buckle ceremony. So it's kind of crazy when you look at our whole day, how all of a sudden we have 10 hours of live programming. Like, how do you get the, the, it seems like a very tough schedule to make sure you get everything right. Cause you can't really, you, there's really no place where you could actually make a mistake at all. This has to be like perfect the whole time. Um, but for the music, like, who do you, do you already have uh, your entertainers lined up? Who can we expect uh, to perform? Well, one of the big thing that's big with NFR out in Vegas is there's nightly concerts. I mean, you mm -hmm. name it, every single hotel, every casino, um, every nook and cranny, you could have an artist and is there. And so Billy Bob's Texas here in the Fort Worth Stockyards um, has a lineup every single night of different athletes. So you have, um, I think they did, I know Cody Johnson's a big one that moved here is going to be here. Um, I know Parker McCollum's the following weekend, um, but they've lined, I don't know off the top of my head, I've been so immersed in our own schedule, then, but I need to go back. But I know they have amazing entertainment every single night, just kind of throughout. I know the Mavericks are going to be playing um, at the Texas Live. So there are two different nights out there inside of Globe Life. So it's just kind of embracing everything that was a part of NFR. It's amazing how you start with, okay, here's the start time and here's the dates of the actual competition that's going to be at Globe Life. But then how all of a sudden we're back here now and all these events have kind of filled in to make, you know, an amazing 10 days with everybody, of course, still being socially conscious and socially distancing as much as possible. So much of it is outside and people being able to walk around and do their type of thing. So um, no better place than Texas. Like I said, right now we're about 75 degrees. So hopefully that sticks around for about two more weeks and we'll be good. Exactly, exactly. And the Cowboy Channel, you, you guys just opened up a new studio as well from what I heard. Uh, so it really shows the growth of what has been developed. Tell us a little bit about the new production studio that you've just opened up. Yeah, so that's been a project of mine for about the last five years. Um, we do have our television studios for RFD TV on the Heart of Music Row in Nashville. But recently the opportunity came to us with the Fort Worth Stockyards. Um, they were looking to kind of revitalize the area and they had a great idea and kind of approached us and said, you know, we really love a media network to anchor down in the Fort Worth Stockyards. And our vision for this is really to be what ESPN is to Bristol, Connecticut and what CNN is to Atlanta. We want to be in the heart of the Western lifestyle, which no better place than here in the heart of Fort Worth, Texas in the Fort Worth Stockyards. Um, so we kind of were touring the different buildings about five years ago. It might even be six now. Every time goes by. But um, there's an old auction barn that was built back in the early 1950s. Um, and we saw it and we saw the seats and we said, you know, this would be a really cool television studio, a place we could bring guests and kind of have our own live studio audiences. Um, so we put pen to paper and kind of started mapping it out. So we inherited this building, which was dirt floor and cinder block and holes in the ceilings. And now we've kind of built it into a state of the art television studio with 350 seats, soft seats, the latest technology, um, huge drop down screens. We can have live television audiences right here in the middle. So our goal is just keep producing more and more programming out of here. Um, and when we can open up more, allow more guests to kind of come in. So it's our Universal Studios, like I said, meets Today Show, meets ESPN, just kind of everything here in the heart of the Fort Worth Stockyards. And that's really cool. That, that is so cool to see and to hear. Uh, what has it been like during this whole odd 2020 year that it is to be able to run your channel uh and to be able to i mean yes you would love to have a live audience in and to be able to bring in different things into your shows and, and things like that but what has it been like to try and like continue your goal and your mission but under certain restrictions you know for us it's really been 
it's been hard, of course, but I think, you know, us having the contract for the first year of PRCA, it's also helped us grow. And we've learned more here in the first year than we would have probably in the first five years, because you've learned how to just adapt to every single type of situation and how things are thrown at you. And again, of course, having a new studio, yes, the plan was to open up in spring and summer and start doing tours and have live studio audiences and bring people in, but we had to adapt. And we really kind of started to use technology as our friend of where you can't necessarily send out crews all over the country. How can you work together with these rodeos and understand what type of video production they already have in place? And what do we have with our new um, control room and state-of-the-art television and kind of use internet and technology to be our friend to connect the two and um, have access to the athletes of doing more Zoom calls and interviews rather than having them come into the studio. So. We've just kind of really been adaptive, um, but I've learned a lot about live sports. I mean, that's the thing, it's live sports, right? So all of a sudden your program schedule went um, in March when we had to cancel Rodeo Houston, unfortunately, during the COVID shutdown. But we got really creative um, being an official network for PRCA. We had this vault of all past NFRs. And so we did 40 nights of NFR at first and just kind of relived all those memories and pulled up great highlights. And then slowly things started opening up. And what's been amazing about rural America is yes, a lot of the cities have shut down their bigger events, but because just the nature of rural America and smaller towns, these smaller events have been able to carry on. And so there's certain rodeos in Burwell, Nebraska, and you know, Lawton, Oklahoma, and Sykeston, Missouri, um, that have great rodeos that weren't necessarily on our schedule this year, but because they were able to carry on, we were found a way to kind of carry them. And so our programming schedule really this whole past year has been all about kind of the heart of America and what keeps farmers and ranchers and the Western lifestyle thriving. And we got to go to so many great communities and showcase what they do. And you just kind of got to see this beautiful part of rural America. What was fun is it's a lot of the cowboys. Normally they're in Cheyenne or they're in Calgary. And because those rodeos were canceled this year, there's rodeos during that time that normally take place that cowboys were able to come to. So fans were showing up and getting to see cowboys they've never seen before. So it was just kind of really fun when you take a step back and you get to witness kind of what was happening. It's, it's been a challenging year, but very rewarding and very fun at the same time. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. It has been challenging, but we find ways to keep moving and that's what's the best thing to do. Um, so December 3rd through December 12th, tell us how could they find Cowboy Channel RFD TV? Yep. So if you just go to the cowboychannel.com or rfdtv.com, we have a find us button. So you can just click and find out for cable or affiliate what channel numbers. Uh, we are on Dish and Direct. Direct TV this year is actually carrying us in 4K. Um, so we have some different options that are working with the different programmers. And then we also have the option for anyone that is cut the cord or doesn't have cable or satellite right now, you can live stream the NFR with the PRCA on Cowboy Channel Plus app. So Kind of, you can watch either on TV, you can stream it, you can do both and have dual devices, whatever your viewing preferences, we kind of have that option for everyone. Awesome, awesome. And I know we're going to be checking it out on RFD TV because that's what we get here in LA, in my area. So thank you so much, Raquel, for stopping on Muse TV, talking to us about everything that's going on at the Cowboy Channel. We really appreciate it. Wonderful. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you.